Hello everybody and welcome back to Agrarian Skies Where we left off at the end of the last episode We were working on this quest right here Dust in the Wind Trying to get four broken iron ore So that was for this We put four of those broken iron ore together to get iron ore gravel and then it opened unlocked that we had to get four uh, I believe it's pulverized okay broken ore and then crushed ore and we get four of those we get iron ore sand so now we're down to pulverized ores and we need to get four pulverized iron ore to get one iron ore dust and then we get a quarter of a heart and one of these lovely reward bags so in between episodes <clears throat> where we left off I had this chest full of goodies and I made uh, everything that we had enough to make into blocks I made here so we have our iron ore gravel and our iron ore sand we also have a copper ore gravel and an aluminum ore gravel um, and then a bunch of other stuff. We have some Sardis Quartz dust and Sardis Quartz, some flint, some lapis, and a bunch of other guys. Um, our doo -doo -doo, There's our pulverized iron ore. We only have three of those. We need one more to make a block of, pulver of iron ore sand. So we need to sift some dust. But as you can probably see, all of this is getting us lots of goodies that we can um, eventually use. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I have a bit of a throat issue going on. I hopefully am not getting sick again. Um, so I made a bun I made a stack of each of these and we will eventually not during episode, but I'll like cut away and sift through all of this and show you all I can get. Excuse me, I have to cough. One moment, please. I I think I'm okay. I I just had an incredible tickle in my throat. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Mmm. It's one of those tickles <clears throat> that, like, if you don't cough, you feel like you're gonna gag. And when you're coughing, you feel like you're gagging. So, I have a feeling I'm getting sick again, guys. It's not good. Not good at all. This is what it gets for working with kids. If you don't know, by the way, my day job, I work with kids. Okay, so we throw that in there, and we right click, and boom, stuff comes out. And nice, we already got our one iron ore, so let's switch hands, not with a hammer, but our empty hand, and continue sifting this one, and we got another pulverized iron ore, and we got a glowstone dust. So anything that's dust, like redstone, glowstone, um, any of these pulverized items will come in dust form. And we also have, oh, I need to move the pumpkin seeds to our seed chest, which uh, you can see there are no seeds in here. I have gotten some more seeds. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but I've moved them to a seed chest by the farm, which I will show you in a second. So there is our iron ore dust. And then we go ahead back in here, and that completes that. And we can claim a reward. Let's claim the first one. Do 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 do. And let's see. Get our quarter of a heart. Put that in there. Let's take a look. We've got what is that? A good reward bag. Okay. Let's see what we get in a good reward bag. A golden Nixon. All right. This is a crook. It's made out of gold. And if you rem you know know anything about Minecraft, just even though this is modded Minecraft, gold tools are just as useful as they are in regular Minecraft, which means they broke break pretty easily. So I've been tearing up a little bit more of the island, and I think I showed you the spawn eggs before. I don't think there's anything new in here except I've got a stack and a little over of cobble because I did some cobble mining while I was getting the gravel gravel and stuff and to save myself time I just hammered the cobblestone generator with the hammer to get gravel 
so I've taken this down another layer. We still have a tree here, and we have a tree there. I'm going to start an orchard soon, because one of our earlier rewards we got some plum trees from Ham Pam's Harvest Craft, and I want to get those going. But here is our garden. I added two more. Um, I've got... Okay, I was making sure I didn't put it in the wrong inventory. I've got some wheat seeds going, and then we just right click, like replacing a block, and up pop our potatoes. We get seven potatoes at one time, so that's pretty good. Same goes with the carrots. And then this is our seed chest, and I can put pumpkin seeds. Whoop, they're there. In here, up here is food, so we've got a bunch of blackberry seeds that we got from a reward. I've planted three of them, and then we've got our plum saplings. Oh, pardon me, congestion. And then down here, are, um, we've gotten all of these from sifting gravel or dirt. Um, and we've got three grass seeds, three cactus seeds, a spruce seed, and a mana bean, which technically isn't really a, bee a seed, but it is something we can do. So I've also been, um, I got made some shears, which are almost dead. And if I come over, and instead of using the crook on the leaves, I just shear the leaves. And we can use the, the leaf blocks just like we use the saplings for mulching to get um, composting to make dirt. And there are a lot more leaves per tree than we would get from our crook with a sapling. Uh, the more saplings than we would get saplings from the tree. Ah, there are more leaves. We get more leaves from a tree. <laughs> Sorry. See how fast that did went? That was our golden crook, and it's gone already. Oh, pardon me. Okay. <clears throat> so, we get more leaves. We're able to make more dirt, get more leaves from a tree, than we are to get saplings. If that makes any sense the way I just said that all backwards. But using all the leaves we've gotten, so we've got 26 more plus tw one here, 27. We have 27 pieces of dirt now. And that goes, and we also have 33 saplings, because we also get saplings and apples from that. Um, and I remember if I showed last time, this is our food chest, and I've been making, oh, that's cooked silkworms. Can go ahead and eat some of those, I guess. Um, but I've been using our juicer and making apple juice and carrot juice and blackberry juice. And then from sifting, I also got this saguaro fruit, which is usable as a food or a seed. It's a cactus fruit, it looks like. And then we've got a bunch of baked potatoes. We can add our potatoes to that. And um, that's been keeping our hunger going pretty good. I cooked up these uh, silkworms just because they were there and they provide pretty good dose of nutrition. I just had to eat two to top me off. So um, we ate, used eight saplings to make dirt and now we use eight leaf blocks. Seven, eight. And so it's a much more efficient, we're able to make uh, dirt much quicker. And because of all the mining I was doing, I started using this pick of misfortune. I don't want to use it too much because if I shift, the repair material is netherrack, and I don't have any netherrack right now, so I don't want to use it up to the durability too much. But it does, it's pretty fast. I was using it to mine the, mo uh, mine the cobble, but the one I have been using a bunch of is the pick of splintered dreams which is made out of wood but I've been using it so much that it has leveled up it's got luck and now if you look at the little uh, symbol icon it's all green it's got auto repair <clears throat> now I didn't have to actually get moss and put that on there but that is what it's got it has moss on it um, and that's pretty cool. And it auto repairs. So it was damaged, but it's been sitting in my inventory, and now it's all better. And we killed a couple minutes, and look at that. We have two blocks of dirt. And we can start making a grass platform eventually. Oh, I ran out of. Okay, so see, we, we ran out, but we have a bunch of saplings. Oh, we still have 10 on us. 
So we can go ahead and top that off with saplings. So that's what I've been doing in between episodes. And a whole day has passed. Um, didn't mind that one. Oh, that's a huge one. Well, I'll have to get around to that. <clears throat> and I cleared out a little area here. I'm going to be making a, um, a mob grinder over in this area. I just have to keep going out that way without losing too many blocks or falling off. And that's doing okay. So I'm going to sleep really quick, take a quick break, uh, sift through these stacks of dust, sand, and gravel, and then come back and show you all the goodies that I have received. So I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, so I didn't end up st uh, sifting through 64 of uh, each one. I decided to set aside, I set aside 16 of each because we need them to make our seared bricks for the smeltery, which is our next task we're going to work on. But you can see I have two chests now. So this is all the loose stuff that I got. Um, we got coal. We got one diamond now. Woohoo! We got a bunch of redstone, some glowstone, a bunch of flint, <coughs> bunch of surdus quartz, some blaze powder, <coughs> excuse me, ton of limestone, and then these are all, and then we got amber, got more cactus seeds, saguaro fruit, cocoa beans, and bone meal. <coughs> and then these are all the odds and ends of everything else that's left over. We got appetite and amber and quicksilver and the odds and ends. And what I did, the reason this is all odds and ends is because this chest, I made all of those odds and ends, as many as I could into blocks. <clears throat> now we can do something cool with the blocks. We can take all the gravel and we can hammer that and make it into sand ore again. And then we can make the sand ore into dust ore and there's a chance of increasing our numbers. So let's grab all of our gravels. I think the rest are all sands. That's a sand. Alright, so we take these outside and use a little bit of space over here. Okay, and then we start laying these out. We grab our hammer, this one, and we hammer that. And that took four uh, tin gravel ore to make one block. Now we have five crushed tin ore. This is going to take me a minute to say. I'm going to get rid of these. So basically each time we break down one of these blocks it has a chance to give us more. So we just broke down three of the tin gravel and now we can make three tin sand but we have two left over which means we can make more. And then we use our hammer on the sand and that has a potential to give us more dust. So we just broke down three sand and now we make three dust but we have one sand left over. So exponential growth means each time we break this down into a lower component we have a chance to getting byproducts, so we get extra in the long run. And then eventually once I get my smeltery up, we can then go and double that. Now here it didn't do that because it's not a 100%. But one block, no matter what form it's in, is equal to one ingot if we just throw it in the furnace. So if I throw four of these iron ore gravel in the furnace, we'll get out four iron ingots. But if I take the time and break this down into dust, we have the potential to get more from each piece. Therefore, enchancing, increasing the number of ingots we could possibly get. So now we have four sand with two left over that we can combine with others that we sift up. 
and then just do the same again. Okay, and now we have four dust with three si with three pulverized ore left over. So I'm going to keep working on doing this, and I'm going to get rid of these trees and harvest these guys here. Right click, boom, 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 lots of food, yum. Oh, look at that, it even works for the wheat. Nice, and we get extra seeds now. Cool. So I'm going to keep working on that, guys, and I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, so I finished doing that, I made everything into dust, now we have 4 gold, 3 silver, 4 lead, 9 iron, <coughs> 7 copper, 7 tin, 5 aluminum, 3 nickel, and 1 platinum. I'm going to take half of these guys and put them in here with... <clears throat> a piece of charcoal. <clears throat> That'll do. And then we'll get ourselves five iron ingots. And so we've completed that. So if we go back, we have that one. We did that. So smeltery, we need to combine and make grout and we need a seared tank, a controller, a smeltery drain, a faucet, a casting table, and one seared brick. And in return we get a whole bunch of bricks and then we a quarter of an heart. And then we can choose from peach sapling, slimy saplings, reward bag, or a full heart. Alright. <coughs> so we've got our sand, gravel, and dust. Now, we can't just use dust. I'm going to sleep. Not that I've had any problems with mobs yet, but uh, I want to keep it that way. Alright. <clears throat> Still haven't taken down the trees yet. <coughs> That's okay. They're not going anywhere. <clears throat> so, if we grab our dust... It hasn't rained recently, so we only currently have one barrel of water, but we can pop that in there and we get a clay block. And let's run inside and let's look up the recipe for grout. Grout. There we go. So one clay block, four sand, and four gravel gets us eight grout. So we can do that. We'll start with that. So that, and then, whoops, like that, and then like that. There we go. Eight grout. <clears throat> Get our iron out. And then we just put that in there to get the seared bricks. But we're going to need more than eight. And we're going to need more charcoal, so we'll keep that on us. And that'll cook up eight of those. So, what we can do is make a bucket. And we have some clay here as well. And what was the other recipe for grout? Okay. So we'll just make do with what we have. I'm sure it's a shapeless recipe, probably. Okay, so that gets us four more. Throw in there and more coal. <coughs> and munch on a potato. Alright, so what I was saying is we could take three iron and go ahead and make us a good old fashioned iron bucket. Like so. Because the only other bucket we had was the clay, baked clay one, and it broke after we moved our lava. That's harvestable again. 
get some of our infinite water source, which I'm thinking I'm making a second one because I'm always afraid I'm going to mess that one up, <clears throat> which I have. And I had three barrels of water earlier, but two of them went back to making the infinite water source. So that should be enough. I'm not sure how many I actually need. But we'll throw those in there. One, two. I have a feeling I watched somebody else make this in like 16 stacks of everything seemed like enough. But I don't remember. Okay. So we needed a controller for sure. The smeltery controller, okay. So that's just going to be like that. <coughs> Hooray, we got a a book. We need a tank, which is going to require some glass. We need a drain, a faucet, a casting table. I think I've seen people do these enough uh, to know how it works. But we don't... Okay, we can make the drain. Or the faucet. Let's grab some more. And one, two... I have a diamond or horse armor. It has sharpness on it though. I don't know how to unenchant things. Um, can I make anything with four? And we got the controller. The drain requires six. Oh, we can make a brick. So we need to make one brick. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> so we got a brick. We need our casting table. That's going to be seven. And the smeltery drain, that's going to be six. So that's 13. And then the tank, I believe, is eight. So that's going to be 21. And we have not enough. Alright, so that's the drain. <coughs> and I guess we'll make some more. Two more dust, or two more clay. So you guys, give me a heads up. Let me know how, how you think the ep uh, the series is going so far. Um, let me know if you'd like to see more stuff on camera or more stuff off camera. We're going to have to put those down and break them, or at least break one for now. And that gets us four more. Growlt. Okay, and that gets us a table. Okay, and then all we need left now... Oh, that's not going to be enough still. Okay, I've got it. So we have the seared tank, the table, the drain, that, that, that. Go back to our quest book, all 100%. Yay, let's choose, oof. I've heard slimy saplings are pretty good, but we could also get peach saplings later. And reward bags could have anything. We could get 
something good from a reward bag. I think we're good on hearts. I'm gonna be daring and go with reward bag. Alright. <clears throat> so now we've got a bunch of chiseled seared bricks, regular seared bricks, cracked seared bricks, and fancy seared bricks. And we need a place to put them up. So I'm gonna put them in here. Um, for now, and off camera or in between episodes, I will assemble the rest of that and put that, that, and that away. And some of those, I don't need 18 carrots. And I'm hearing things. Perchance, let's go to sleep. Okay, so that takes care of two things for today. So now we can build our smeltery and let's see, let's go. Ooh, we unlocked this, so we need to make an ingot cast and a pickaxe head cast. Alright, so we'll work on that for next episode. I think that's going to be all for today. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to finish working, cut down these things. So hopefully next episode I'll have a mob farm over there so that we can get these mob related um, zombie killer. And Mary had a little butcher shop. Hopefully we can get those done. And... Yep, we're going to make a dirt place for passive mobs. And then we're going to make a mob spawner. And we're going to kill some good guy, bad guys. Heh. Cool. So we don't need this slimy sapling or what it, that would I don't know, rubber sapling. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We got a bit done. I feel a lot richer now. And I'm going to put together this melt tree and start the orchard and the mob farm for next episode. And then I will see you later. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better. So, bye. Don't forget to hit the like button. Take care. Bye.